Okay, reloads. First and major point about reload is if you run dry, you need to get the gun back in a fight as fast as possible. So there's a couple of different ways you can do that. One's emergency reload or slide lock reload. The other one's a tactical reload where you're gonna to top the gun up before you run dry. So we're gonna go over a couple different ways to do this. Personally, I prefer the slide lock reload. Um, it offers me a couple advantages. The other thing is after studying a lot of self-defense scenarios, especially with police officers, the vast majority of the time, if it's needed, the gun's gonna get run until it's dry and then reloaded. Um, there isn't a whole lot of situations unless you look at some very specific circumstances where a tactical reload is going to be necessary, especially for the armed civilian. So we're going to mainly look at slide lock reloads today and try to accomplish those as quickly as possible and as efficiently as possible. First thing I want to talk about when it comes to reloads is the magazine itself and specifically its orientation. Now, I'm wearing my duty gear here today so that we can kind of see what's going on. But if you look, both of my magazines have got the rear of the magazine facing forward. Now, it's not really gonna matter which direction you face the magazines as long as you use the proper procedure for getting them out of the holder and into the gun, okay? So a couple things we wanna look at and this is all going to depend upon how your arm works. So for me, I always go for my rearmost magazine first, okay? And the reason being is I don't have to get my fingers in between the magazines the way I grasp them. So if I'm going to go for my rearmost magazine first, right, I'm going to grab it, I'm going to pull, and I'm going to use my, my pointer finger to point it into the pistol, okay? So that's the motion we're looking for is to point that magazine into the pistol. Now, if you turn this magazine around, we'll turn the front one around. If you're going to go for the front one first, all you really have to do is slap your hand against it and pull it out and it's still oriented in the right position. And that's the key. No matter how you grab the magazine from the holder, you want the front of the magazine oriented toward the front of the pistol when you're going to reload it. That removes all of the steps of rotating the magazine around in your hand or rotating your wrist when you go to insert the magazine into the pistol and get it back into the fight. So this is this is the first thing that we want to do. Which way is most comfortable for us to grab the magazine and put it into the gun? Right? So if you're gonna go from the back, this is the way I like to do it. If you're gonna go from the front, which works, it's all up to you. Grab it, into the gun we go. So, now let's get on to our actual. Okay, we're gonna start with some crusty old targets here. And we're gonna, we're gonna show you what this looks like from behind the gun. Now, mind you, I'm shooting from behind a camera and a tripod. So, if the shots aren't that great, that's because I'm not using the sights. What we got here is unloaded firearm, okay? So, essentially, this is what we're going to look like when we run dry. So all we're going to do is we're going to take, rotate the firearm like this, right? And notice how the target is staying in our peripheral vision. So once the firearm's rotated like this, we're going for a magazine, okay? So we go from here, we're going to actuate our, our magazine release button, right? Magazine should fall out, rotating back in. We're going to look into the magazine well, okay? Keeping our target in our peripheral vision. So in we go, right? Now we can either actuate the slide lock on the way down or we can slingshot it to reload the firearm. But essentially, once that magazine is inserted, Slingshot, actuate the slide stop, whichever you prefer. All you really have to do is then rotate your grip back into position. We're gonna go, one shot, 
Magazine out. We're going to go for our next magazine. Look it into the gun. Rotate back in. One shot. Magazine out. Into the gun. There you go. All right. So now we're going to try and get this from the side view. You can see how the whole thing is supposed to be put together. Okay. We're going to go slow. And when you're practicing, remember, practice perfect, right? That way you get it. You're going to build up muscle memory. So we're just going to take a couple shots, right? One. So what we're going to do now, we're going to actuate our mag release. Rotate the gun so it's in our vision. We're going to come back, grab our magazine, pull it, point it into the magazine well, and then I like to use the slide stop lever. So as I rotate the gun back on target, slide stop lever is actuated. I'm now back on target. Take another shot. Back in for our magazine. Point it into the well of the gun. Rotate it back around. That's how she works, guys.